And what we're seeing is it's radicalizing a whole new generation of people yeah. that would have never joined the, the far extreme right, would have never gotten involved in this stuff. A lot of these people, I don't feel like maybe didn't even have a racist bone in their body. But now, because of these racial identity politics that we're seeing, they feel like they have to get involved in some sort of tribalism. They have to tri tribe up, you know, for out of fear, out of for protection, almost like in the prison systems in the United States, where a lot of people go in and they didn't have anything to do with racism. And in the prison systems here, or so-called justice system, everybody's tribed up. The blacks, the whites, the Hispanics, everybody is uh, quite often in their own tribes in there. And we're seeing this on a grand scale now. And as somebody that, that had you know, issues with racism and had hate in my heart in the, in the past, seeing this is, is just gut-wrenching and, and heartbreaking to see that the racial identity politics in the United States are front and center and everything has to do with race now.